So what you can see that I have here is a molecule with three carbons, one, two, and three, and a an oxygen that's attached to the end carbon, the number one carbon, uh, with a double bond. So this is slightly different to what we've looked at before when we were looking at our hydroxyl groups. Now we're looking at an oxy group, and that is double bonded to one of our carbons. Now the reason that we put the two groups of aldehydes and ketones together is because they are both characterized by the double bonded oxygen, but the place of those um, of that oxygen differs, and that's how we tell the difference between an aldehyde and a ketone. Propanel um, does not need a number. And the reason that it does not need a number is because if we switch this to the other end, and the simplest way for me to do that is just to rotate the molecule. Now it's on the opposite end, and so you can see it hasn't changed its position. There's no one propanel or propan one al. Um, that's there's no um, uh, need for us to number this. And in